On Saturday, hundreds of Namibians converged in Okahanya for a mass prayer organized in remembrance of the 12th of January 1904, a day on which the war of resistance was launched against the German occupation forces in Okahanya 114 years ago, leading to an extermination order in August by German general Luther von Trotter. A few years after Namibia's independence, the affected communities and the government started calling on the German authorities to come to an agreement on the compensation and reparations for the descendants of the genocide victims. It was reported last week that the German government refused to go to court in New York citing as reasons that they are a sovereign state and cannot be subject to an American court. Rukoro revealed that the German government has now instructed lawyers to represent them in court in New York, slated for the 25th of this month. He said Germany was reacting to a threat by the Nama and over Herero to apply for a default judgment. Yesterday, they changed their tune. They are starting to sing a different song and dance to a different music. Rukoro says the German government even refused to accept the legal documents that bear witness of von Trotter's extermination order, saying that the papers did not have von Trotter's signature. But the Ova Herero traditional authority chief reassured the gathering that the evidence has now been found that could bring the German authority to its knees. German government you are fighting the wrong enemy this time around. Well, I have news for you. Last month, through our tireless efforts, we managed to get the signed copy of an Thomas order. After so many years, it's hand delivered to my lawyers. We will file it in court in New York. Rukoro, however, clarified that the fight is not against the ordinary Germans, as they too are victims of the ruling class and had nothing to do with the genocide. The fight, he says, is against the ruling class whose inherited leadership has genocide blood on their hands. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Okahani.